Mark, uh, you guys come out a uh, desperate group and then you, they get a goal 21 seconds in and then another before the first is over. That's, uh, that must have been pretty daunting to the group. Uh, how do you explain, I guess, the way your team came out in the second and really just took over the game? Well, our seconds have been good, and our, our firsts haven't been uh, throughout the series. Uh, we were actually in the first game not bad in the first. We were okay, but not as good. Our second has been real good for us. It's like we have to we have to get into the game a little bit. And I, I think a little bit of the tonight was nerves. I just, guys were mishandling the puck, and it was popping around on us. and. Uh, I felt you know, once we got into the game in the second, things were a little smoother with the execution. But uh, in the first, uh, we didn't execute very well. And you know that might be a group that hasn't got a lot of playoff experience. And, and so we're trying to work through it. But uh, we will talk about the, the first period uh, tomorrow and try to solve that. Um, and then once you get that first goal, Morgan, uh, and obviously big power play goal there, um, you get almost two more on the power play, one officially and then another near the end. But did you feel like it was just a matter of time, like maybe it starts to snowball and confidence is a big thing too, right? Confidence is huge and, and especially with a group that doesn't have a lot of playoff experience. Like, you know, we're on the bench and, and we're a little bit snake bitten. You know, last game we, we put 42 shots with uh, uh, only one going in the net. So like, you know, they're thinking that as they're sitting on the bench. So after the first one went in, good. But after the second one went in, I thought we played way better. I thought now we're, we're coming and guys are forechecking and making passes and the execution was good. So I don't know, I, I, I hope we're over that, that hump now and uh, we'll see how, uh, how the next one goes. But I, I feel like, I feel like uh, the, the confidence has come back. You happy to see the, 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 the practice work you know, pays off in the game, the traffic in front, and then obviously the power play work that you were doing. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I think that was, I, you know, like, what I think was really good is that we realized we weren't good enough. Like, even though, you know, we outshot them in the first couple of games, we, we weren't good enough. Like, we still lost the hockey game, you know, and we didn't put the puck in the net, and we realized that traffic is going to be something, and we practiced it, and uh, Marty Johnson worked real hard with the power play, and uh, you're right. Like, I thought it paid off. You know, and uh, uh, and that's good to see. Leon Wonky, you're up five two. This guy's putting his body on the line not once but twice there. Yeah, he's already heard enough the first one, and then yeah. dives in front of the second yeah. one. Yeah, I mean, you know, those things are unheralded because it's a five two game. You're not going to look back. I mean, you know, you might, but not everybody's going to look back. But what does that mean for a team just to see a guy doing that? Uh, yeah, even up. It, it means a lot, and I don't know if you saw the bench, but. Uh, when he came off the ice, you probably had 10 guys, 10 forwards run down to the back end of the bench to, to congratulate him for blocking a shot, you know, and, or two shots. And that's who they are. Like, uh, uh, Leon is blocking that shot because he knows that the other 19 guys on the bench there are, are cheering for him. Um, just for, uh, in terms of Luke Johnson, he's had a tough year. How nice would it be to see him score a goal? So nice. So nice. There's, you know, like two broken legs and, and like, I don't know. I, I don't have much to say about it. It's just bloody nice. Your start today, was it different than the past team? He had a bit of a, a jump from the get-go. I think so. You know, I, he didn't play the last game. Um, and I, he had a little bit of burr in him. You know, he wanted to go out and, and, and prove that uh, he deserved to be in there. And... Uh, he certainly showed that tonight. I thought he made a lot of great uh, heavy plays, not just his goal, but some heavy plays. I'll uh, go next to Dave Nuke on Zoom. Go ahead, Dave. Uh, Mark, what can you say about your, your PK? Because, uh, you know, going seven for seven or whatever you guys want, I mean, it's critical for maintaining a win. Uh, well, I can say this. Like, first of all, we took too many penalties. Uh, <laughs> we tested it too often, I felt like. And we took too many in the ozone. But uh, it was excellent. And uh, again, uh, you know, Eric Dubois spends a lot of time with that. And, uh, you know, it, it showed tonight. Uh, they did an excellent job. I, I didn't actually think uh, they didn't really get set up that many times in zone. Like we broke up, the, uh, broke up their entries a lot. And uh, yeah, that's frustrating on a power play when you can't set up. And so I, I, thought, uh, I thought they did a good job with that. You know, when you went into that third period, it, it, you had an opportunity to sit back. It seemed like your team maintained that attack mentality, and of course, it led to a fourth goal and then a fifth goal. Did you like what you saw from them, and did you kind of was that the message in the secondary mission? 
Yeah, we wanted to make sure we were playing the same way. We don't want to change. We don't want to get into a, a trap game. We don't want to hold back and watch them come at us. Uh, we want to make sure that we're playing the same way all the time, and that's uh, to get on our four check, which is the strength of our the strength of our team. So um, they did a good job of that tonight. Uh, sometimes it's I can't always say that. You know, sometimes it's just in human nature to sit back and wait for them to come to you. But uh, tonight uh, they were hungry to keep going. Thanks, Coach. Yeah, and we'll take one or two quick ones from Patrick Williams, NHL.com. Yeah, so uh, Mark, uh, what did you think of Berdeen, especially after that, you know, first period for him to settle down like that? Yeah, I, I thought he was really good. I thought that there was, uh, I think it was two-two. We scored the second one, and he made a huge save in the slot, uh, all guy all alone. So uh, there was two or three big saves that he made for us that I think. Uh, really kept us on the offense and, and kept us in, in front. Uh, yeah, after, and especially with the start like that, I thought he re, re, uh, regrouped real well and showed a little bit of maturity, and that was good.